Today huh? we're doing Santa Banana video. Do you want to see to what today we're doing? Yeah? We're Hi. doing Princess 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 Peppa. Princess Peppa. It's bedtime for Peppa and George. Mommy Pig tucks them in and turns the light. It turns out the light. Good night, little piggy, she whispers. Downstore, downstairs, Granny and Grandpa Pig arrive to have dinner with Mummy and Daddy Pig. They all sit down to eat, but suddenly they hear noises coming from upstairs. Is that Peppa and George? Ask Grandpa Pig. Looks like the little piggies aren't sleeping after all. Mommy Pig goes upstairs to check on Peppa and George. They are wide awake. Peppa, George, quickly now hop into bed, says Mommy Pig. You're making lots of noise and it's too late for you to be up. We aren't sleepy, says Peppa. And then Peppa stays asleep. You think so? Will you tell us a story, asks Peppa. We promised to go to sleep after a story. All right, says Mommy Pig. Once upon a time, there was a princess. Peppa jumps in. A prince. Oh yes, says Mommy Pig. Once upon a time, there was a courageous princess named Peppa. She lived in a castle with Sir George, the brave knight. He he he. And the princess and the knight had a cook who made the most delicious food ever, adds Peppa. Of course, says Mommy Pig. She made cupcakes and cookies. We made a cake, didn't we? And a cherry jelly tower, says Peppa. That was the princess's favorite food. The princess and the knight invited their friends, Pedro Pony, uh, and they all ate the yummy desserts. Yes, says Mommy. And afterwards, everyone was so full, they fell asleep. The end. Then they woke up, cries Peppa, and they invited a wizard to the castle. A wizard, asks Mommy Pig. Yes, says Peppa, and he did a big magic show. But then, all of a sudden, a big green dragon came up to the castle, Peppa continues. He he he, laughs, laughs George. Grrr, oh no, says Mommy Pig. How scary. The dragon wasn't scary, says Peppa. He was just very hungry. So the king came and ordered the cook to make a picnic, says Peppa. He did? Mommy Pig asks with a yawn. Yes, says Peppa. The cook, the wizard, the princess, the knight, the king, Pedro Pony, and the dragon sat down to a big feast. And then they went to sleep, murmurs Mommy Pig as her head drops to one side. No, says Peppa. Then they had a party. The princess arrived to the party in a beautiful carriage, says Peppa. She came with her friend, Susie Sheep. Sir George pulled the carriage with his horse. His baby horse. His baby horse, that's right. All of their friends came to the castle to dance. There was Rebecca Rabbit and Pedro Pony and Danny Dog. And Dada! Hi! Downstairs, Johnny Alice and Granny Pig and Grandpa Pig are wondering what is taking snort, snort, pep and but Peppa and George are not snoring. Mummy Pig is. Hee hee hee. It looks like Princess Peppa is the best at telling bedtime stories, says Daddy Pig. What do you think? Should we make the dinosaur now? 